Good afternoon friends. I think you will be surprised to know there are two types of milk. There is A1 milk which is produced out of Jersey, Holstein and there is a Indian version of the cow which is the desi cow which has a hump on its back and that cow is the source of the A2 milk and this A2 milk is the milk which the rishis the munis the saints and the greatest people of mankind ever have taken it so that their brain gets nourished and so many wonderful things happen in their life so this A1 and A2 milk are a component of two different varieties of cows and there is a huge uh, catastrophe in india because of the cow slaughter and because of the so many uh, ill effects of uh, vanishing of the a2 milk vanishing of the indian bred cow which is there in india has completely vanished and the and the milk that we are getting today in our houses which we may name at any name uh, amul maybe gokul maybe mahananda or any milk they are all a variety of a1 milk which is a toxic milk i am a cardiologist i am practicing in mumbai and I, it makes me responsible to tell all these wonderful people watching this video to tell about what this milk is and how toxic it is for this particular human race and it is very rightly labeled as white poison in the european countries and still in india there are there are great great people exporting importing indian cows from india and getting them to rear in new zealand in australia in brazil but in india we have not got any awareness of this wonderful a2 milk which is there i would really like to ask if anybody knows and i would like to just give you some details of it i start right now the nutritious a2 milk of vedic cows with hump versus the milk of humpless western cows so even milk is toxic casein protein beta cos cosmorphin 7 harmful pesticide b7 BCM7 of A1 milk Surya Ketu Nadi of Vedic cow fragrant smelling Indian humped cow with sebum glands A2 milk produced by humped Indian cow is good for health while A1 milk produced by the humpless western cow is toxic for health an englishman when i was traveling he asked that what is the best cow which is the best milk available and he shot up an argument saying that the indian cow gives very less milk whereas the A1 milk is in abundance so i laughed at him and said that it is not a matter of the daily consumption of milk that you calculate but it is the yearly consumption that we really have to look at and a indian cow milks three times a year whereas a western cow milks only once a year so if you calculate on an average the a2 milk will always be in abundance because of the production of it three times in a year this is a question of perception and simple maths unfortunately which the indian people are not aware of the agnihotra ghee that is whenever we perform the agnihotra sacrifice it is always the a2 ghee that is put up and that is used the a1 ghee is considered as toxic actually our ancient scriptures written by seers state that the humped indian cow has a unique surya ketu nadi on her back aapne dekha hoga ki ek hum jo hota hai cow ke upar wahan par surya ketu nadi hoti hai jo surya ki kiranon ko apne andar simit karti hai isliye the cow milk if you ever have a look at that it is yellow in color it is that's why because of the content of the surya the greatness of the surya rays which it accumulates by the surya ketu nadi and we drink that beautiful milk which nourishes our whole body like a mother she nourishes us similarly the gomutra of urine of a cow has good effect only if the urine is from a humped cow the urine produced by a humpless cow is toxic so gomutra drinking cows urine as an elixir vadakail the various problems associated with humpless cows toxic a1 milk are i am just citing them one by one autism behra hona diabetes type 1 sudden death syndrome in infants ulcerative colitis cardiac problems multiple scler sclerosis mental mental disorders parkinsons schizophrenia obesity arteriosclerosis intolerance bloating autistic and schizophrenic persons typically excrete large quantities of bcm7 in their urine man can live on a2 milk of the humped indian cow alone the west is now secretly engaged in smuggling our desi cows embryos from india the west has found out several decades ago that the a2 milk of indian humped cows is more beneficial as it has micronutrients like cytokines and minerals which enhance the immune system a2 beta casein protein so there are now the single agenda of the west 
of converting their useless A1 cows into A2 cows. They come to India for embryos of the Punganaur cows and the Vechur cows, as a result of which these cows is now almost an extinct. The ghee of Vechur cows was used in Ayurveda to produce medicines and lechems. Even today there are there is there is no mechanism to check illegal export of embryos at seaports in refrigerated containers.